What's up, guys? This is my C5. Well, it will be a C5 when I'm done with it. But um, this is what I have so far, guys. I spent $2,000 on this shell right here. It comes with everything except for an engine. So I have a transmission, I have a rear end, I have brakes. Um, got some things I had to go get for it. The oil pan, the accessories, you know, because all that's kind of proprietary to fitting inside the Corvette. Um, as far as accessories go and fitment. Some other things that I'm going to have to take care of are the brake lines, which, uh, well, they're attached to the ABS sensor. Basically, I got this car. I don't know if they were going to scrap it or they were going to rip it apart, but um, there's a lot of things that need to be gone through on it. It does come with an exhaust, you know, which is cool. Uh, looks like they gave me some eBay headers down here, um, which I, I guess I'm going to use in the meantime since this is a budget build. The wiring harness... Well, let's just say it looks a little rough in some places. Uh, I got a connector, a couple connectors I noticed that were missing right here. And uh, just some other things that need to be gone through that could be soldered and just patched up. Um, but for the most part, it's here. And we're going to try to use whatever we got to get this thing going. Um, in addition to that, some things I wanted to touch on is the car is pretty rough, but you guys have probably seen videos of that. Um, I will be having to get a new door for it. And I will be having to do a bunch of body work to it. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to find some straighter panels to save me having to do some of the work. In the meantime, what I'm going to end up putting in it is this 5.3 liter that I put together. Um, I'm going to get that inside there. It's nothing big, nothing huge. But it will get the car together so I can go take the HPDE courses. And um, that's really the plan of this, to keep it as a budget. So, so far, just the car rolling chassis. 2k this engine something i had laying around the parts i had laying around it looks cool yeah um but i don't really have a whole bunch of money into it besides incidentals that i'll calculate and i guess we'll get a budget going so guys this is the c5 that in my infinite wisdom i chose to purchase from the facebook market which will just say i have a little bit of a problem when it comes to facebook marketplace shopping as you can see sitting in front of you, this little truck motor will be going in it, and I'll explain more about that in a second. So here you have the C5, and you can see from jump that it's missing its passenger door skin. It's pretty rough shape, you know, I got it. I think these guys are going to part it out or use it to put together another complete bed. They ended up ripping out the 5.7 liter LS1, which is cool by me. Those are a dime a dozen in my book. Um, for the most part, the wiring harness is there. It is missing a few connections, um, just like one or two though connectors. And then I see some wiring that can definitely be fixed up for sure. Uh, I was also happy to find the reservoirs for both the windshield and the uh, overflow for the coolant to be in the back of the hatch, which I'll let you guys know now the hatch does not open. So I have to figure that one out at this point, but all my fuses seem to be there. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard. Everything should kind of reveal itself as I go to lay out the harness onto the motor and plug everything in. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. The exhaust, I'll show you about that in a few minutes, but ugh, that leaves much to be desired as well. So this is the truck block that's going to go into it. Um, LM7, pretty much run of the mill. It's just cool to see this engine be put together and then able to drop into the vet. I mean, it's essentially the same thing that was in the vet with minor differences obviously um but it'll work so it's cool i like it because it's something that everyone can afford and it's not a 6.2 liter with a tsp cam setup that someone's running maxed out it's just something for you to put in your car and have fun with so here's the passenger side and you can kind of see that that quarter panel's missing a chunk but i have that chunk in the car they left it in there for me um i'm probably going to glass that in there to save a few bucks this side isn't too bad. The door can use adjusting. And uh, the fender's pretty okay, so I don't mind it. And you'll see my GTO front runners on there um, as well. Because when I bought this car, the dude gave it to me with 16-inch rims on it. And they were literally cutting into the control arms, and the tow truck driver couldn't get the car to even roll up the ramp. Here you will see the ultimate testament to the fun they had with this vehicle. This is the radiator support. Completely tore out. What I have going for me in my favor is I'm going to reposition the radiator with the custom support, but you'll see that the air dam is also bent up. So hopefully I'll be able to take that one out there and save it, if not get it out to get a pattern to make one out of sheet metal. But for the most part, the suspension is here. So 
that's going to save me some bucks. Now, this side right now it looks terrible. The door I have a skin for. I haven't decided if I want to rebond it to the shell. And I also have a brand new fender for it. Well, not brand new, but off of a blue C5. But yeah, that's something that's easily taken care of. The exhaust that you see here, it's okay. I mean, if it doesn't have leaks, I haven't heard it yet. Obviously, it's not on an engine. But you can see that someone had some good practice piecing some things together. It's mostly just parts, it looks like, piping from the like the auto store, auto port store. And uh, it seems to be the factory C5 mid pipe going back to the exhaust. And then we get into the engine. This is the LM7 5.3 liter Gen 3 engine. And this is a factory stock short block here with just new rings, bearings, and seals. It has a TSP cam in it, manly push rods, LS7 lifters. The heads are milled 30 thousandths down. They have new springs, 660 lift, dual platinum valve springs from BTR, and they are 799 243s off of a Gen 4 5.3 liter. In addition to that, I'm going to be topping it off with a super budget friendly shaved truck intake that I have, and I'll most likely be converting it over onto a four bolt throttle body system um, from the Gen 4 engines just for ease of use and availability really so that's what i have kind of going on here and i decided to use this motor because this is something that is available to everybody and it doesn't have to be something you're putting in a corvette if you're looking at putting in anything it's it's going to work for you i mean even the 4.8 liter is a beast of a little motor and it's great responds great to boost this one i may boost or i may be building a six liter short block to stick in there and boost but for now that remains to be seen in the future for now, we're just going to be topping it off with the truck intake. I know you guys are going to be like, why not buy a car intake or get one on the market? The truck intake was literally free. And to account for that extra height, I actually shortened the motor mounts that I'm going to be using, well, making actually out of aluminum round stock. So I'm going to try my best to have it clear the cowl and not have to cut the hood. And if it gives me a factory stock appearance for now, I think that'd be more than great. I just want a functioning shutting hood, to be honest with you. But I think as you guys see the intake as we go on forward, you'll be happy with the results of what I did. I think it looks pretty cool at least. But yeah, so this is what I have right now going into the Corvette. And it's going to basically be enough to get me to get it started, get it to the track, and get those HPDE classes. So I guess next the best thing I have to do is, or best thing I can do is to get this prepped up to drop into the car. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys that in my next video as I get the clutch assembly on there.